I have a lot of things that I do in my homeschool that I feel is not super on trend. And today I'm talking about one of them. That is why we don't homeschool year round. Today's video is a collaboration with Ashley from Dash of Home. There will be other homeschool moms talking about why they homeschool throughout the year or why they don't homeschool throughout the year. Make sure you check out that playlist down below. This is just what works for us and why we do it. If you are a home year round homeschooler, and I know there's many who are, I personally have friends who do that. I think more power to you. And I think if that works for your family, that that is awesome. I just want to throw that out there. I don't think there's anything wrong with homeschooling year around. It's just not for us. So let's talk about some reasons why. So we follow a traditional school year. We start end of August and we finish at the end of May. We have a good summer break. The first reason we don't homeschool year round, we love summer. Now don't get me wrong. I love homeschooling too, but when it comes to summer, kind of the last thing I want to do is homeschool. Where we live, there are definitely four seasons. In fall, it's chilly. In winter, it's cold. In spring, it's cool. It's warming up a little bit, but in summer, it's nice and warm. And we love doing all the summer activities. And so I don't want to spend most of our days indoor doing school. I want to be outside enjoying the summer and just soaking up those summer days. My husband is from Southern California and sometimes I I scratch my head and wonder like, why did we leave? But then I look at real estate prices. I'm like, oh yeah, that's why. But seriously, if I did live somewhere very, very hot and it was really, really hot during the summer, I would probably consider schooling during the summer and taking maybe like fall and you know winter off or something like that but um but just because of where we're at we really like to enjoy this summer reason number two um i have really really great amazing memories from growing up as a kid through during the summer so in the morning we would like watch our old time shows like gilligan's island and wonder woman and the price is right <laughs> My girls don't watch any of that, but I just have really good memories of waking up and just kind of relaxing throughout the day. We would go on adventures. We would go swimming all day. We would ride our bikes, our rollerblades, play on our swing set, and we just had so much fun. We were just kids. Like we had so much fun just being kids, no responsibility throughout the summer. And they, again, seriously, some of my best memories from being a kid. We would go on summer vacation and not to say that you can't school and go on vacation. Like obviously you can, but you know, it just goes within that summer season. And so because it meant so much to me, I want to share that with my kids too and have that be some of their favorite memories as well. Just enjoying the summer. Just think about it for a second. When we grow up, unless you're a teacher and even teachers work during the summer, no job is giving you the entire summer off. Like once you get a real job and you have responsibilities, you don't get to just take a three month break. That's just not how life works. You have to work, you know, day in, day out, no matter the season, no matter the temperature, no matter the weather outside. It's something that you have to show up for 365 days throughout the year. You only get one childhood, one time to have this time off. They have the rest of their lives to work all throughout the year. So I just want to make sure that they can really soak up this time of having this time off. And I want them to enjoy that and to really be able to cherish those times and to be able to take full advantage. Number three is I want there to be a distinction between school and non-school. And I think this is not super popular among homeschoolers because they say school is all around and school is a way of life and we're always learning and it's not just inside the classroom and it's not just with the book. And I understand that. I get that, but I still want there to be a distinction between, okay, kind of like a ceremonial thing. We finished this year, we are closing that chapter. We're gonna take a nice break, enjoy, celebrate all of our hard work. And then at the beginning of the school year, we're gonna start a new chapter and we will celebrate that. And it'll be ceremonial to begin a new season. And I really just think that having that break kind of gives that distinction. And then lastly is because we just need a break. We need a nice full break. I need it, my kids need it. By the end of the school year, they are ready. They just want a break. They want to be done school and enjoy their summer. And again, this is just for us, but I just don't want it to feel like we're perpetually doing school where all the days run together. And yes, you may have a week or two off, but there's no distinction where you're just in a constant state of school all throughout the year. So yes, by the end of the school year, they are ready. They 
want to be done with school, they're ready for summer break, they are excited to enjoy their summer. But I will say that by the end of the summer and when school's about to start, they're actually equally excited to start school. They're they're looking for it, they're saying, okay, we're done with summer, we're ready to get back into our school, into our routine, and they're excited about their books and for a new school year ahead. So I do say that it's not just that they hate school or anything like that, it's just that nice change of pace. I think there's something to be said about taking a step back it kind of helps you appreciate school and it kind of helps you it actually miss it you, you kind of miss it and that way you can start a fresh new school year refreshed renewed and with a good attitude I will say that we do a little bit of light school throughout the summer um, and I'll talk about that actually in an upcoming video that I have coming out in just a little bit so if you are interested in what we actually do stay tuned for that but for the most part we are not year-round schoolers again um, I don't think that's I think I can safely say that's not really something we will ever do there's not much I can say that we will never do or don't do but that is one thing I can pretty much say guarantee is not gonna happen so again make sure you check out that playlist if you want to see what other people do for schooling throughout the year and check out Ashley's channel thanks so much for watching if you have not subscribed already please make sure you hit subscribe so that you can stick around and see more homeschool content just like this if you have thought this video was helpful make sure you hit that like button thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon. Take care.